Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have a Sew the Look for you guys. I have not done one of these in a little bit and it's time. I know that people really enjoy um, these Sew the Look videos and honestly I love doing them. I love doing research and finding outfits and then pairing with patterns and then making them. Sometimes I don't make all of them but I, I really do enjoy all the behind the scenes work on those kind of videos. So um, it's beyond past time for me to do a Sew the Look video. So that's what we've got today and it happens to coincide with a um, re-release of a pattern from Love Notions. It's today's Feature Friday. So this is, um, we'll, we'll talk about it in a little bit, but this pattern is on sale today only, which is Friday. Oh my gosh, I'm filming this too far in advance. I don't know what the date is. Um, Friday the 25th of June, 2021. <laughs> I think that's right. I think that's right. Um, so for today only, you can get the pattern for $5. So definitely the Feature Fridays for Love Notions. Get on their um, mailing, their newsletter, because they will send it out on Fridays. You would have gotten one this morning if you're not on the list. So, or if you're on the list, you did get one. Anyway, um, this is today's pattern that I'm going to be talking with you. But the other exciting thing is it's a re-release. -re so, cl um, closet. Oh my gosh, Love Notions has been slowly going through their catalog of patterns and re-releasing them in their extended size range. So um, they now go from a size, I'm not sure the measurements, I will pop the measurements down below on what the whole range is, but I think just extra small, extra small up to 5X, um, 5XL is their size range and they've been just going through little by little and um, re-releasing their whole catalog in the new size range. <clears throat> so that is what today is. They are re-releasing the Lyric dress and top in the new size range. So, and it's $5 only today, which is very exciting. All right, now let's talk about the look that I was kind of going for before I show you my dress and all that kind of good stuff. Also, I'm wearing my new Glenelli. This is my new Itch to Stitch top. Is this neckline not just to die for? I love how it frames my diamond necklace. Oh, I, I just love this neckline. <laughs> Really love it. And this pattern is actually still on sale right now, um, I think through the weekend. So definitely go have a look if you haven't already. Uh, okay, this was Tuesday's video. <laughs> okay, so, so the look. So I have um, bought the summer capsule from the Everyday Style, um, your Everyday Style website and um, gone through that. I don't want to give too much away because that is something that you buy for the whole you know, here's the pieces of the capsule wardrobe, how you put it together, um, a whole bunch of links if you want to buy any of it or all of it, which includes accessories, um, you know, jewelry, shoes, bags, and then a million different <laughs> um, links. It's a little bit of an exaggeration, but a lot of links that go for each of the pieces for the capsule. Um, and I use it as more, although I have bought accessories and shoes and stuff from these capsules. I bought the spring capsule as well and then purchased shoes and stuff from there. Um, anyway, it now comes with a Facebook group. So, and she's even given us the seamstresses, our own little section of the web of the Facebook group where we can go and talk about sewing patterns and fabric and all that kind of stuff for those that could care less about sewing or don't know anything about sewing. So if you've purchased the summer um, wardrobe, capsule wardrobe, and you can still go over and do that. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below, but you can join the Facebook group and I'm over there. Um, I mean, cause I'm, I purchased it just like everyone else um, talking about it over there. But anyway, without giving too much away, um, I, I had been brought to my attention a white linen dress, which there's nothing groundbreaking about a white linen dress in the summer. However, I have been seeing a ton, and this goes beyond um, the capsule wardrobe, just in, you know, all the research that I do for, you know, the Sew the Summer Looks and all those kind of videos, I'm on websites for clothing brands that I enjoy. Again, I don't buy ready to wear clothing hardly at all, um, like really at all, but these are brands that I would shop possibly if I were shopping um, or brands that have aesthetics that I really like. And I've noticed that there are not only white linen dresses, but there are a range of what falls into the white linen dress. Obviously the big, what are they called, buffet style dresses, like the real loose frit, almost moo-moos, like caffetans and moo-moos um, are very, very popular right now. I cannot, my body shape, because I'm so busty, I think those look so chic and so good on so many people, shapes and sizes and everything. 
but I just feel like because the way I'm shaped when I have anything that falls off my boobs like that without pulling things in and also I'm short that I can be completely consumed and swallowed up by fabric and I look like I'm wearing a tent very easily. Um, I know I'm not alone on that but um, yeah that yeah, so we've been seeing those kind of dresses, but also more of the sun dresses. Um, I'm actually going to pop up, just kind of scroll through some pictures that I have pinned on my own Pinterest board of what I've seen that I kind of like, um, different elements of what I like, and then I will show you the dress that I decided to copy here at the very end. So yeah, I saw a lot of like sundresses, strappy dresses. I love the look of a good sundress. Now the problem with that is, is that I have to wear a bra. I don't wear strapless bras, especially in the summer. I just find them very hot, even if I do have to wear a strapless bra. But the engineering that has to go into a strapless bra for me, I've just never found one that's comfortable. Um, other than long line bras. So occasionally if a bra like literally goes down to my waist and fastens and anchors at my waist, that's like the only strapless bra I've really ever been able to wear <laughs> and it be like comfortable and me not feel like I'm hiking things up the whole time. I just don't want to deal with them. So basically, and I can't go braless, like that is just not an option. Um, or even like a built-in bra, just not an option for my body. So while I love the look of sundresses and I think they look so good and effortless and just gorgeous, I just can't wear them unless they have thicker straps. And because my bras have such thick straps, because I am, again, so busty, um, it has to have a pretty thick strap to cover everything. And even then, while I do so, so I can adjust like where my straps go to make sure that they cover my bra, I don't know. Sometimes the strappier dresses can be a little problematic with the bra. Not that I'm super picky about if a bra is pop popping out. Um, the other thing is, I go back and forth, you know, we all have our body image issues, you know, our little hangups on ourself. And I, when I gain weight, I gain weight in my upper body first, and then it works its way down to like <laughs> my lower body. My lower body, like my hips down, are the very last thing to put on weight when I put on weight. It's like up here, I get meaty in my arms, chest, my waist. Very last thing are my legs and hips, which I know is backwards for a lot of people. But sometimes I just feel like when it's just the straps, um, I just feel a little meaty. <laughs> and I know that that's my own hangups about myself. But, and again, sometimes I'm comfortable wearing those kind of things. I do have a couple of dresses like that. Um, it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling at that moment um, in time. So looked through those, saw a lot of them that I really liked. One thing that I did notice I loved was the white linen with the like wooden buttons or um, turtle shell or horn looking darker brown buttons down the front. I just loved that contrast. I just think it looks very natural and um, just something really good about that contrast. A um, little texture and movement in those buttons. I don't know, I really, really liked it. So that is one thing I picked up. I also noticed that quite a few of the dresses I was looking at had the little patch pockets on the front, which I thought were really cute and just something kind of fun, add a little interest um, on the front of the dress as well. So as I was going through and scrolling and pinning a whole bunch of different dresses, I did come across actually quite a few that had sleeves on them. And after thinking about it, because at, at the for a while I'm like, well, I'll just do a dress that's sleeveless and, but that isn't necessarily strappy, you know, one that comes up higher in the back and, you know, a sleeveless sundress, but not a strappy sundress. That that may be where I'll be a little bit more comfortable. But then I was looking and found a whole bunch with sleeves. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I would really like something with a sleeve. Um, a little short sleeve, something that doesn't, you know, really... I'm fine with short sleeves as long as they are angled or come up above my bust line. It's when short sleeves hit like longer on my arm that they cut right across my bust. And if they're not angled at all, that I just feel like I look very wide. So um, I just have to be careful on where my sleeve placement hits. Again, seamstress, so I can adjust that pretty easily. But um, yeah, I was going back and forth. Do I want sleeveless or sleeved? You know, sleeveless or sleeved. And then Love Notions, um, I'm an ambassador for them, which means I'm part of their um, group that, um, oh, we do some content for them. Um, we do some of the like in-depth pattern testing for them before it goes to the regular pattern testers. Um, yeah, just kind of her, um, 
I don't know what you would call it, control, control group kind of type focus group <laughs> uh, that she goes to first before it goes, things go out to the public. So um, I had been, I knew that the lyric was going to be re-released in the new size range. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's such a good dress. I've been wanting to make that dress forever. And I think it'll be a really good in a white linen. Um, and there's a whole bunch of options per all Love Notions patterns that I think I could pick from and make a really good white sundress. So I had settled on the, this picture for what I was really into, just to kind of pinpoint what I really wanted. So I thought a short sleeve, I wanted um, a V-neck line, and um, I wanted the, the buttons that I could see down the front, and I liked the patch pockets, and I kind of I wanted it midi length, just, you know, to have fun, something a little different. Um, I've been wearing midi actually quite a bit more, and I really like that. So let's talk about the pattern a little bit that I chose to go with this, and, um, I've got, uh, obviously gone with the Lyric from Love Notions. Now, what is great about this pattern is that it comes, you can make it sleeveless, you can make it with a bishop sleeve, you can make it with a flutter sleeve, you can make it with a short sleeve. Is that everything? I think that's all the sleeves. I'll have a picture of the pattern up here. You can make it as a peplum top, you can make it with a gathered skirt, you can make it with an A-line skirt. And the A-line skirt, you have the option to do slash pockets um, at, at the hip, or you can do the patch pockets on the A-line skirt and then also on the gathered skirt. Um, you can make it knee length, you can make it midi length, or the peplum. Kind of sky's the limit, again, with hers. I have been wanting to make this pattern um, since I discovered Love Notions, actually, which I think was the summer of 2019 is when I discovered Love Notions. A, a viewer had sent, um, told me how much they loved them and I went and tried them out. And again, I was really swayed by the fact that they had full bust um, options for like all of their patterns or cup sizes. And um, yeah, that's kind of what got me over and then I was just sold. What I love most about Love Notions patterns is, is that all their patterns are pretty basic and make it really easy for you to put your own spin on things and recreate something really cool um, with a really great base pattern. Um, whether even that can just be like adding a really great fabric to it. Um, it just goes with my aesthetic really, really well. I really like love notions, love working with them. They're a fantastic company as well. Anyway, um, I decided that I would do the midi length and I wanted to do the A-line skirt, mostly because I've gone with a linen um, from my stash. And while it's not a thick linen by any means, in fact, I'm really hoping when I was taking these twirl photos, <laughs> photos. I wasn't wearing this for the day. Like I had gotten dressed in something else. And my husband, after we did the twirls, he's like, Hey, you're probably, when you wear this out, you want to wear probably nude underwear. And I was like, Oh my gosh, could you see my underwear? And he's like, I don't know if you could in the pictures. So I'll be, I haven't looked back at the footage yet. So disregard if you can, I'm wearing dark gray underwear and this, or like a dark taupe underwear in the, uh, under the dress, which is not what I would wear. I would wear a nude color for me if I were wearing this just out because it's not a thick linen. You can't see it. In fact, this is the same linen that I made for the front of my white linen, um, cello top that I made last March or April or something. Uh, and I, so I knew how opaque it was cause I wear that a ton. And obviously that's the front part of the shirt cause the back part of the shirt is a linen, gauzy linen that, um, you can't see through it, but it's definitely more translucent than what's on the front. So, um, anyway, I knew that it was going to be good for a dress, but that a gathered waistband might be a little too much fabric. You know, if I'm making it in a rayon or something with more drape, um, like a silk or something, I would try the, the gathered skirt. I think that'd be really cool. But for the fabric I was using, I wanted to do the A-line skirt and I wanted to try the patch pockets on the front. Um, yeah, so this pattern actually comes, um, well now it comes all the way up to the, um, oh geez, now I don't know. This isn't alphanumerical um, sizing because I made a size 12 with the D cup. I'll list the new sizes down below because I don't know the numbers that she's using. Not that it matters. I'll also list the range of chest sizes and I'll go like the smallest, like the smallest size A cup to the largest size D cup in the bus sizes. And then I'll list the um, hip ranges down here below too. But um, I made the size 12 with a D cup. Now the 12 I think has a high bust measurement of a 37. I'm actually a 36, but um, the, the D cup was for a 40 inch bust, I think. 
and that's and then I decided I my waist measurement was closer to the size 12 I mean much closer to the size 12 than the size 10 I could have graded but it ended up that this fit just fine in the upper body um, I normally make a medium in their alphanumeric sizes and that fits me really really well and I think a medium is like a size 10 12 um, so yeah, I just made the upper end of that. And I think that this worked really, really well. So the bodice is darted. It has um, bust darts and it has waist darts in the front and in the back. But there's a nice, I mean, not a lot, but a nice bit of ease in the waist that keeps us very, very comfortable. I've obviously made this in a linen, which I will show you right now, this white linen. Um, and now it's been crumpled in my lap. <laughs> And this white linen, which linen will grow as, you know, your body heat warms it up, which I think is kind of nice. It makes a more, a little bit more relaxed dress. Now, this has a beautiful V neckline. Um, it uses bias uh, tape for the neckline. I made self-bias tape. I've really been into that lately. Um, my Harmony blouse that I made, um, the, the matching set that I made to go with the shorts, and that was even, I mean, that was a round Georgette. That was a very shifty fabric, and I made my own bias tape. I don't know, there's something I'm finding very soothing at the moment of sitting and, like, sewing the strips together and then putting them through my bias tape maker, you know, and, and ironing them. I don't know. I'm finding it very, like, zen, I guess. I'm just really having fun with bias tape at the moment, making my own. I don't know. Because a lot of times I'm like, oh, that sounds awful. I don't want to make my own bias tape. So who knows? You know, whatever. But it has a gorgeous, like I said, bias tape finish on the neckline, um, goes into the button placket. I've made the midi length version. Um, there's not a pocket placement on the pattern. It just tells you how far to go from the center front. I kind of wish I'd moved my pockets over just a little bit more. Um, they just feel a little close to the placket. I mean, it's not the worst thing. So, I mean, it's easy for me. I mean, I could tear them off and move them. Will I? Probably not. <laughs> It doesn't bother me that much, but um, anyway. Another thing that I loved about the dresses I was looking at is a whole, how close all the buttons were. So I decided, um, I used my little Simflex to mark my button placements. I don't ever use the button placements on the patterns. And I did my buttonholes horizontally this time, just for something different. Can you even see those with the white? So most of the time I do buttonholes vertically, like on shirts and stuff. Um, I was actually watching a Kittenish Behavior, Sean from Kittenish Behavior, her YouTube channel. She does her buttons horizontally all the time. Just it helps with gaping because she's also busty. Um, it helps with gaping and she makes a ton of shirt dresses and stuff. And I was just watching her video and she had on a shirt dress and I'm like, I should do horizontal buttons just to change things up a little bit. So I decided to do them on this dress and I really like them. Um, you know, it gives you a little bit more play um, through the buttons. But I put 14 buttons down the front of this dress, and I think that that's just lovely. Um, I just really like the way that looks. Uh, the buttons are from Wawak, and I'll leave a link to them down below. It's the same buttons I used for my Monty shirt dress, actually. Um, I mean, you literally, I can get a gross of these for, like, under $4, I think. And a gross is 144 buttons. <laughs> now, they're not hard plastic. They almost feel like they should be on, um, and they, because Wawak is a, a dry cleaning, they, they serve a lot, service a lot of dry cleaning places and stuff, like alterations and that sort of thing. So I'm sure these were like replacement buttons for like men's uh, polo shirts or, um, you know, those kind of things, because they, they have like a, a matte finish. They're very nice. I really like them. Anyway, they work great down the front of my new dress. Um, I love the way it's fitting. It's very, very comfortable. I think it's, um, the midi, I made the midi length. Now I did shorten the skirt by two inches. Uh, again, I'm 5'2". She drafts for a 5'5 five, five height. Is that right? I think it is. 5'6", maybe? It's either 5'5 five, five or 5'6", five, which you're supposed to take your height away from that height. So if it's 5'6", let's say that's four inches because I'm 5'2", and then shorten things half that just because of the way, like, I don't know, it's the way that the numbers work out. Like, that's a good rule of thumb, obviously. There are exceptions to every rule. But um, she dressed for a height of five, five or five, six. I can't remember. So I would take, you know, an, an inch and a half or two inches off of length. I find two inches with her patterns to be just perfect. So that's what I did on the skirt. And I even finished off my hem with some more bias tape. I made quite a bit. And I think that that looks nice because it is an A-line skirt. So it has a slight curve to the hem. Um, which just looks really nice. Oh, the other alteration I made. I did a sway back adjustment on the back of this dress. So um, sway back adjustments a lot of times are needed if you have, um, you know, if you've got, 
if your butt, if you have a shelf that kind of comes out where your butt comes out with, which mine does, I stand as an S almost with my shoulders back, bust out. A lot of times I think compensating, I've always stand, stood like that, compensating for the weight in the front, um, which means I stick my butt out just naturally. I have a, a deep curve in my lower back. Um, so a sway back adjustment can be good for that, but a sway back adjustment can also be good if you're just really short from your waist to your um, center back neck. So, and that is definitely, I think that's really more where the sway back adjustment comes in for me. I'm just, I'm short in my torso. So from my, my back especially, just because I don't have boobs to like compensate for the extra length on my back, of course. So I did a one inch sway back adjustment where I just took an inch out of center back and took it to nothing by the time I got to my side seams. Um, I mean, that cuts through the, the dart. So part of your dart's gonna go like, like off, like the top part's gonna get all off um, when you drop it. But I, you cut the center back, you cut the center, you cut the back on the fold. So when you do pull down um, that wedge and center back, it's gonna make the back kind of go in and then back out again. What I do is I line up the top of the back with a straight edge and line the bottom of the back up to the straight edge and draw a new line. So you'll be adding some right there at that center back waist a little bit, which works out really well for me. I'm sure you could sh shave that off the side seam if you didn't want that little extra, but that's exactly where I need a little bit of extra is right there at my waist, so it works out well for me. Um, but just reducing center back by an inch and then nothing at the side seam, I think made it fit really well. I don't know that I necessarily, you know, looking back, I probably didn't need quite an inch. I probably could have gotten away with maybe a half of an inch to three quarters of an inch, but it fits, I think, much better. It's not catching up my butt, which I think it would if I didn't, hadn't done the adjustment. So this is kind of a wearable muslin, really. So anyway, this is my dress, my Lyric. This pattern again is on sale for $5 today, so definitely go grab it if you don't have it already. It looks gorgeous in drapey fabrics, just like it does in the um, linens. Um, it'd be great in a cotton lawn. You could make it in a quilting cotton too as well, just especially like a sleeveless version. I think that would be lovely. Um, so it's not really a, I mean, it's kind of a fit and flare, but it has a little bit more ease through the waist, which I really enjoy. So it has almost that 90s dress is what it's reminding me of a little bit. Anyway, I think that's what I really like about it. It kind of just goes in just enough to give you a waist if you don't have one. <laughs> but yeah, that's the lyric, guys. I'm so glad I finally made it up. It made up so quickly. I'm so mad at myself that it took me forever to try it. Again, I've owned this, I think, since the summer of 2019 um, and just haven't had a chance to sew it up. I even had it printed out for the longest time and to sew up. And it was just sitting there and finally one day I was cleaning up and I'm like, I mean, this is just sitting here and I recycled it, um, which is so wasteful. But I try to only print things off right when I'm getting ready to sew them now. So anyway, so glad I did that. Um, I will definitely try it in a drapier fabric. I think it's got the bishop sleeve on there, which would be fantastic as the weather starts to cool um, to do in a really pretty rayon. I mean, yeah, I can even right off the top of my head think of like a few different fabrics that I have that would be beautiful in for the, you know, as we get into the cooler weather again. Not too soon, but <laughs> looking forward and ahead a little bit. Okay, that's all I have for today. Um, going forward, I'm not sure, I have a few different things I could do for videos for next week. Not really sure. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss anything fun and exciting. I have a huge request list in for my daughter, both for things for the summer and also as she starts high school in the fall. So I'm going to be doing a ton of sewing for her here. Um, I'm also doing my own summer capsule wardrobe sewing at the moment. Um, so I've got a lot of that going on. And then I have a couple of reviews that um, I've gotten... Um, kind of an exciting thing to review that I'm excited to show, show you guys because I was curious about it and uh, yeah really cool thing so not really sure quite yet what's coming up on Tuesday but it'll be something good don't forget that Sunday is part three of the style art patterns Monty sew along so you don't want to miss that and yeah that's all I have for today I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend I hope you can get some sewing in or if you've got great weather where you are I hope you're enjoying that as well all right guys I will see you again next time bye